Hello my brothers and sisters, today I want to bring you guys two dreams that I had like two days ago and uh, these dreams are like one after the other the first dream that I had it was about the Pope Francis he was healing a lot of people he had a board, huge board on the wall with a lot of paintings, a lot of pictures of people he was touching the pictures and he was healing many there were multitudes of people yelling oh I was healed, I'm healed, I'm safe, things like that that's the first dream uh, he's like healing touching the the painting the faces the images of these people and people outside somewhere they're getting healed uh, this is the first dream um, the second dream that I had my friends it is a church it's a huge church but they're like having these uh, uh, have it, they're having these games behind the church like tack uh, tag team uh, games and hide and seek but they're below these three tents there are three tents my friends all right so I go to the I had a I had a bullhorn and an amplifier I go to the first tent and I tell people Jesus Christ is coming he was crucified for our sins my friends see Jesus Christ practice righteousness they're like they're not paying attention I go to the second one the second tent the same thing I'm preaching them Jesus they don't bother they're not worried about it they don't care I go to the third one and there's a woman there tan skin she's talking to this group of people she was like a like a youth leader or something like that but I was saying uh, uh, Hebrews 12 14 follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man will see the Lord Jesus Christ and she looks at me and she's like oh shut up you're crazy and I look at her and I'm like do you know that without holiness no man will see the Lord Jesus Christ and she's like looking at me and saying, oh, shut up, you're crazy. The same words. So, the dream ended. Um, today I want to talk about certain things that are occurring right now. But I want to give you guys um, uh, what these dreams mean. Some people think that there will be a revival. Like there will be a huge worldwide revival. But that's not going to happen. God says the world is deceiving and being deceived every single day. People who are sensual, people who have deceiving spirit in them, they're going to be deceiving all the people and they're going to grow in deception more and more each and every day. So those who remain faithful, who have no barrenness in their spirit, who have no shadow of turning, you see God has no shadow of turning in Him. He is who He is. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last who has and is and shall come the Almighty there's no lying Jesus Christ he never changes God is holy God is moral he's eternal he's a sin hating righteous God Lord I pray that you may open up our hearts today in Jesus name he's a sin hating righteous God my friends the first dream is the Pope touching images and there is a huge board there's people a lot of, a lot of people getting healed I believe that the Pope is going to start healing people and a lot of people are going to believe that he is like oh he's something you know he's blessed or he's going to guide us something something like that I'm not 100 percent sure but I do believe that might happen all right yet I'm not 100 percent sure now the second dream about these churches these are lukewarm churches my friends I do not know what the tents mean I have no idea what the tents mean but I'll, I'll do my research and maybe if I do my research on it I can post here in the description or I can put like a little um, uh, uh, speech bubble here in my video so that you guys can see it maybe an update or something like that but if you guys see it then uh, possibly that's what it is but I'm not 100% sure the thing is that there are three tents and below these three tents there are churches uh, church goers there are people that are like playing talk uh, hide and seek games or whatever and there's a youth leader she stands skin and she's like uh, long black hair and she's talking to these people and I reach to her and I tell her without holiness no man will see the Lord Jesus Christ follow peace with all man and holiness without which no man will see the Lord Jesus Christ and she's like oh shut up you're 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 crazy and this is what's happening today those who are lukewarm they're going to get to a point that they're going to tell people Oh, you're crazy, you're nuts, you're, you, you're taking it a little bit too far. Because since deception grows, like I was saying, since deception grows every day, more and more and more, and those who are deceiving and being deceived, they grow more in deception. These people get some of that deception themselves. 
and most of them will fall away and believe a deception of the Antichrist. All right. Uh, now I want to talk about the Pope. The Pope saying that the cross of Jesus is a failure, that he ended in failure, because why? Well, he's a heretic, he's a liar, he's a deceiver, he's a blaspheming, lying, idolater, beast. He knows not the truth. There's no truth in the Pope. There are millions of souls who are going to fall in the pits of hell with the Pope. He's a heretic, my friends. He's a blaspheming, um, deceived, deceiving spirit. He's lost. I don't even going to ask for prayer for this man. I think you're better off. Look, you're better off praying to Muslims. You're better off praying to Muslims. Praying, praying to Muslims than you're better off praying for the Pope because he's just lost. All right. If we're in the Book of Revelation, he says that. When the two witnesses are killed, two witnesses are going to be killed in Jerusalem, right? Which is the city, the spiritual city, Sodom and Egypt. That's Israel today. God is helping the nation of Israel because He, he had an oath with Abraham. He said, "I will bless those that bless you, and I will curse those that curse you." So He, He just keeping His oath. He's keeping His commandments with Abraham. Because he blessed Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham, those that believe in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. But going back a little bit, my friends. In the book of Revelation, it speaks of the nation of Israel, which is Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to read right now from the book of uh, Colossians a little bit. You see? Uh, yeah, the book of Colossians uh, 2 14 through 15. But let me just finish this. It says that there was a huge earthquake when the two witnesses were raised up to heaven. When God says, come on, hither, he brings them to heaven. There's a huge earthquake. Earthquake. There's a lot of people there. So right there in the midst of this, this bunch of dead people, 7,000 people died. You can read the book of Revelation. 7,000 people died. And it says the remnant repented and gave glory to God. The remnant gave glory to God. So in those group of that remnant, I guarantee you there are going to be a lot of Muslims. There are going to be a lot of Muslims giving glory to Jesus Christ. So, going back again, you better off praying to Muslims so that God will forgive them their sins, so that God will manifest Himself to them than for praying to these wicked, reprobate, heretic, idolaters, blasphemous, blasphemous Pope who is in the face of the world right now. He's leading the world, my friends, into the pit of hell. You better off, off praying for Muslims than for praying for the poop. Don't waste your time. Uh, so that's pretty much it, my friends. Oh, let me read from Colossians 2. This is what the Lord Jesus Christ did at the cross, and the Pope says that it was a total failure. In other words, he's saying the same thing. That it was a failure. He is a failure. He's going to the pits of hell. Poor soul. I'm not even going to pray for him. Poor soul. It says Colossians 2 14 15. Blotting out. This is what the Lord Jesus did, my friends. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which is the law of the Old Testament, you know, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his own cross, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphant over them in it. While the Lord was crucified on the cross, he was suffering. He died because he was buried. He resurrected the third day. A hundred people saw him. The apostles saw him too. Uh, remember Thomas said, Oh, I need to see him. And when he saw the Lord Jesus, he said, My Lord and oh my God. Many Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe the truth but because they're a bunch of fools. They're deceived and they're also going to help. Oh, look, you're better off also, my brothers and sisters, praying up for Jehovah's Witnesses. They might open up their eyes to the truth. Going back, my friends. The Lord nailed the ordinances and the Everything that was contrary, contrary to us, because in scriptures of the book of Romans, by the knowledge of the law, there is the knowledge of sin. And sin, when it's conceived, it brings forth death. But remember, the Lord didn't come to the earth to abolish the law, but to establish it. He came to establish the law, my friends. So the thing is, in Colossians, we read that He was triumphing over them, over every single might, every single power, every single principality, sitting in high places. He was triumphing over them. To God the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
He lay on that cross, crucified for our sins. He died. He was he was buried. He resurrected the third day. He conquered everything on that cross. And here we have this heretic, liar, blasphemer, idolater, who does not know the truth for sure. He never reads the Bible. This this man does not read the Bible. And he is leading the world into the pits of hell. So we gotta pray for the people. Do not pray for this man, my friend. This man is lost. This man is lost. Pray for Muslims. Pray for Jehovah's Witness. Pray for all those who are following him that they might open up their eyes to the truth. It is what it is, my friends. God bless you guys. The Lord is with you.